Um, York Simcoe, yeah, okay. with uh, me, Bennett, McDavid. Uh, so he was so coaching them? Yeah, it was uh, me, it was him, Brian, McDavid, and then, uh, a couple other guys. So uh, it was cool. We had a, we had a pretty, pretty good, good team there. I remember the stories about playing ball hockey together. Oh, yeah, a couple of those guys played ball. I didn't play ball hockey. I actually okay. played uh, lacrosse growing up, and okay. McDavid actually played a couple of years with me there as well. So. But I seem to remember you playing on his driveway or your driveway or something like oh, that. Oh, that ball hockey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, the old rollerblade. Every time we go over to his house, it would be rollerblades in his driveway. So yeah. kind of through That's stuff, for sure. Cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Got into the dance a little bit late here, Travis. I know how much your dad means to you, and vice versa. Uh, the fact that you got called up and the opportunity that this dad's trip coincides. Uh, was, was your dad like a kid at Christmas time? Oh, for sure. Uh, like I was telling these guys before, uh, my dad, or my mom sent me a text yesterday letting me know that my dad took a couple hours at least to uh, pack his bags and yeah. uh, making sure he's bringing all the right stuff and uh, looks up to par, I guess. So uh, he's pretty excited with uh, with the upcoming events and it's it's good for him. I mean, I, I owe him all my hockey career and uh, just being able to bring him along here is a little tidbit of uh, give back and you can see it by the smile on his face that uh, it means a lot to him. Who tossed you over the boards for the first time when you got on skates? Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy Dermott. He, uh, he grabbed me by the pants and threw me over and told me to learn to skate. So uh, it was pretty cool with him uh, being from the start and ending up here. So, What's it mean to you to have him here? Uh, anything. Like the, biggest, uh, the biggest treat in the world. Just uh, having him here and you know, just having him in the rink, I guess, watching me is cool. But uh, getting him to actually be in here and be with the guys and go through the meeting before practice was, uh, was pretty cool. I mean, um, just, I know that he, uh, this is his dream growing up, so giving him this little glimpse uh, means a lot to me. How old were you when you threw over, got you going? Oh, learned to skate probably two. two. Started hockey probably four, four or five. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, so uh, it was pretty early. He tried to get me uh, any edge I could. The uh, challenge here tonight, what has Pre-Scout told you about what you guys as a deep pairing are going to have to, to do, and, and I guess communication, and in your case, playing with a guy that uh, Obviously, he's new to you. Yeah, Zeiss is a great player. I mean, uh, I think anyone who has a hockey mind can see that. So uh, going out here, we haven't really played together much before, uh, a couple practices. So it's exciting. I mean, I'll stay below him and mm -hmm. give him his opportunities to go, and uh, I'm sure we'll do fine together. They uh, they have some power up up uh, on their offense, so we have to watch against them. But um, I mean, if we play our game, I think we should be fine.